Hello, thanks for stopping by the channel. My name is Sandy and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of window shopping. So if you'd like to see what's in the stores for the spring season, keep watching. Our first stop is Home Goods. Now the spring has sprung in Home Goods. They have all of the new items in. This travertine piece here caught my eye. It's $14.99. It is an elephant. That is really, really nice. I love travertine stone. They have a lot of new items in, some decorative bowls, which will be nice on a uh, entryway table or something as a catcher for your keys or just some decorative um, vase fill or whatever you want to put in there. They have a lot of these items here in the gold or brass. They have some black decorative pieces. I really like this piece here and it's a great price at $16.99. That would be nice also just as a little accent piece on a bookshelf or something like that. This is really an exciting time to come in these stores because they get new items in. All of the Christmas and holiday items are now long gone and now they can focus on the upcoming seasons and they get nice new fresh things in. This is a nice book for a coffee table book. I love the Japan D style. This book retails at $19.99. It's really a nice little addition for a coffee table book. Home Goods is a great place if you're looking for designer coffee table books. They have this Tom Ford book here and it retails for $69.99. These books go fast when they get them in store, but you can find Gucci, Chanel, um, Christian Dior, you know, all of the higher end designers, but they go fast. I always gravitate to the unique style of vases and things like that. I will not be purchasing any new vases, but it, they always catch my eye just the same, especially if they have a unique shape or style to them or color or whatever. So they do have some that are really, really nice. This bowl here, I'm like really hating that I am not able to add this one to my collection, but I'm not gonna do it. I don't need it, but I love it. It is gorgeous, love it. I will put that on my dining room table. I will probably rotate it to my entryway table, but it ain't mine. <laughs> These are nice little accent pieces here. I like this also for like a catch-all tray. You could even use it as a coaster. It is marble. I have one um, already. I've had it for a little while. Um, it's just really nice. I haven't seen a globe like this in so, so long, but these are the ones that we used to have way back in the day in schools with the blue on here and the different colors for the countries. That one was really nice and very nostalgic. Home Goods is really tempting me today. Here is a travertine box that I absolutely love. The only thing about it is it is so, so heavy, but I like this type of box to place on my coffee table or somewhere near my TV because I can hide my remotes and things like that in there. I do not need another one, but this one certainly caught my eye. Now, trip to home goods is just not complete without a walk through the art aisle to see what they have in store. Lately, I've been very successful in finding some um, really interesting pieces. I really like this one. I don't know why they did the wood frame with it. I'm not a fan of that, but I love the lines in here or something. It just really kind of caught my attention.
take a look at some of the lamps. This one here is just a basic lamp, but that shade was so pretty. It was a dark, dark black, almost looked like a velvet. It was really pretty. There is never a shortage of unique lamps at Home Goods. Look at this peacock um, lamp here. It's doing a lot and check out that shade. So if you're looking for something really different, really whimsical, Home Goods might be your spot. Oh, wow. I was today years old when I found out that Pendleton also does quilts. I knew that they did uh, wool and that they dated back to the 1800s. I remember my mom talking about this company um, as I was growing up or something. But yeah, they have quilts. ottomans are really pretty but I don't know if they would hold up with the way that this um, fabric is I think those will pull apart pretty pretty easy I've seen the pillows uh, made like that as well and I've seen some of them already in the store torn up because people kind of pull them apart I thought this pillow was really pretty it just caught my eye it's a lumbar pillow and it is a pillow cover I'm checking it out here to make sure that it is a pillow cover because I don't like to buy pillows that you know you can't remove the covers and to store them um, this one does have a zipper on it which is nice and it was only $19.99 but I thought it was really really pretty I have a thing for pillow covers. <laughs> it's the perfect way to kind of change out your decor. Um, inexpensively, you can get the covers um, pretty reasonably priced um, here and there from either, you know, home goods or Amazon, things like that. This one is nice too for you glam girls out there. It is $39.99, but I think that's a pretty lumbar as well. And Home Goods has jumped a couple seasons. They are have already put out their Easter decor. They have a ton of Easter decor, uh, Easter snacks. The jelly beans are out. The Easter eggs are out. The spring um, dishes and coffee mugs, all types of things um, are already out in store and probably uh, before long will be sold out. So if you are in the market for some spring Easter type decor, this is the time to check them out. In addition to the trays, they also had some really, really nice coffee mugs. If you are in the market, I am not, but of course this animal print one caught my eye. It's only $4.99, but I could not, I don't have the space for it yet another mugs so i need to run away from this space but the little cute little mugs they just always catch my eye these little carafes here are really really nice for a bedside table they are $9.99 um, nice for your own bedside table or definitely nice for a guest room to make your guests feel extra special 
It's also a great time to purchase any of your summer entertaining um, items here. They have a lot of the um, glassware, dinnerware, things like that for your outdoor entertaining. They have skipped right on to summer, <laughs> but they do have a nice selection in in all different colors. So it's a nice time to go in and check them out if you are in the market for this type of item. Another thing, it is time to get your planters. Now, I don't know what your experience is in your area, but in my area, planters are something that come out during really late winter, early spring. And by the summer, you can't find planters anywhere until the following year. So if you're looking for outdoor planters, indoor planters, whatever the case may be, Home Goods has a pretty good selection of them in right now. Really, really nice, um, unique ones. They have a lot of the terracotta, which are very, very popular this year. This one here really caught my attention. It's from Portugal. It's very, very fragile. It's very, very nice and surprisingly not that expensive. It was $12.99. Not very large, but certainly nice for a small indoor plant. I'm not sure that I will put it outside, but it's really pretty. And if you are into the colorful pots, they have a great selection of those as well. is super cute not sure what I would do with it or where I would put it he is humongous it's $159 it is a planter I wasn't sure if it was a table or what but it is a planter but he was cute <laughs> Now, you know, spring is around the corner once the tulips make it to the stores. They are so, so pretty. I just love tulips. They are one of my favorite florals. I love to go over to Trader Joe's and get uh, the a uh, dozen of them or so and put them in the home. They last a nice long time. So I do enjoy those as fresh flowers, but they're really pretty. Now, I was about to leave the store, but something told me to go right back over to the decor section, and I saw a couple pieces that I had missed. That one there is really pretty. I love this as well. I love vases. I just like to look at them, even if I can't buy them. They are so, so cute. And right now, um, Home Goods has their global items out, so you can find some really, really unique pieces. So now we have left the store. We're in Hobby Lobby right now, and we went straight over to the vases here to see what they had. They really don't have a lot, at least in 
my store right now because they had had them on sale for probably two or three weeks. I'm not sure why, because normally, you know, the sales last a week, but they've been on sale a good long while, but they're not now, but they pretty much have sold out of a lot of them, but they do still have some really, really nice pieces left in. I love the rustic uh, vases. I love to put these on my bookshelves with some faux greenery or something like that. This one's the one I've been looking at for a while. I just like it. I don't know why. It is very, very rustic, but it, it's nice. I love it. This one's $61. And um, I can't remember what the shorter one was, but hopefully you caught that price on there. But this is at Hobby Lobby. I also wanted to look over with their faux fruit. I do like to decorate with faux fruit in the springtime, and these are really, really nice. They're kind of lifelike. They've got the greenery on them. I do like those. I don't like fake fake fruit. <laughs> I like it to look, you know, really realistic looking. So the lemons are good. Uh, the peaches are good. Um, I don't decorate with peaches this time of year, but I do in early fall, late summer. The limes look pretty good as well, um, but they have all types of fruit. So those are nice for vase fillers in your kitchen. Um, these tangerines look really, really pretty. I guess these are tangerines. Uh, they're like a pick. So you could put those in a vase if you wanted to do something like that. But I like to look and see what they have in. And also the faux, um, air plants and succulents and things like that. Hobby Lobby is a great place to purchase these items as well. These are nice also as vase filler or in a vase, wherever you want to put them. But I love, um, air plants. I tried to grow one one time. It did not like my home and it died on me. So I've been doing faux ones ever since. I love these. Um, I think they're called string of pearls here. And I have quite a few of these. I love to just kind of have um, them put down in a vase and have them kind of cascaded to one side for a nice little dramatic look. These never go on sale, but they're not expensive at all. I think they're like two, three ninety nine. Um, for these, but they're over in the area where the faux fruit is. And then I saw this little cactus here. This is kind of different too. You could put those in a um, in some styrofoam. I would probably kind of create an arrangement like that. But yeah, those are nice as well. These. Um, grass uh, baskets are really, really nice for decorating. You can put them on the wall. I've been watching a lot of Homeworthy on YouTube and I've seen quite a few people with these in their homes and they look really, really nice. They also, I've also seen people put like those fans, like the um, straw fans and things like that, decorate the walls with those, which looks really nice as well. This was super, super cute. This is a bath towel for toddlers. I just thought it was so, so adorable. A little um, princess towel set for the little girls. So cute. They also have these really nice decorative boxes here, a trio set here. I'm sorry, I didn't get the price of all of them, but the smaller one was $11.99 and then it was 50% off. So great deal on that. And then Hobby Lobby has some nice black and white artwork in here as well with a New York theme. I really, really like that. And then this is more on the glam style with a little uh, gold in it. But very, very nice um, pieces of art here. And they were 50% off. So that's a great deal. And that's a great part of shopping at Hobby Lobby. You know, if it's not on sale this week, it probably will be next week. So check back. Don't ever play full price at Hobby Lobby, okay? <laughs> Now, if you love music and you have a music room or a room that you'd like to have a music theme in there, this is a perfect place to come and get you some artwork and just knickknacks to decorate the space. Um, I really like this. This is actually a wall clock and it looks like a vinyl record. And um, yeah, it's so, so cute. I really, really like that. 
Now this is not Hobby Lobby, this is Lime and Lou, and I've been looking at this piece of art. This is actually like a vinyl record, and they put the, the lyrics to the song on it, and I thought that was so, so nice. But back at Hobby Lobby, they have all types of um, ideas, faux instruments, um, just all types of things. I really, really um, like this music note here. This is wall art, and I thought that was really nice as well. And again, you know, at Hobby Lobby, these pieces will be 50% off every couple weeks or whatever. So definitely something to check back for if it's not on sale when you go to look for it. This is really nice too. That's like a um, a light switch. And this artwork here, this kind of reminded me of back in the day, and I know I'm aging myself here, but do you all remember Columbia House? <laughs> they used to send out a million cassette tapes for like $10. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is a great place if you are doing a music themed room um, or looking for some art in the music theme. I love this sign here. This is about the only place in my home that I wouldn't mind a sign, and that would be the laundry space. But this says, laundry, wash 30 minutes, dry 60 minutes, putting away 7 to 10 business days. And that is truly my house. <laughs> And yes, the outdoor furniture is back. This little setup here is an entire vibe. I am loving these black egg chairs, the wood burning stove, the faux plants, the lanterns. The whole setup is wonderful. I love it. I absolutely love it. It'd be perfect for a deck, patio, backyard, whatever. I just love this vibe. And that black is just looking so, so nice. Oh my God, I'm so ready for spring, summer. <laughs> Let's look at the planters here. They have a full selection of planters that are out. They are 40% off. In fact, all spring is 40% off right now at Hobby Lobby, if I've not mentioned that. So um, definitely head out if you have any outdoor um, needs for your um, outdoor space. This is the time to go. They have all different styles, all different sizes and everything. And some really, really nice looking ones to choose from. All right, our last stop today is going to be Ross. I spotted these chairs and I went right over to them. They were $149. They were cute and they really look like something that I've seen at Crate and Barrel. Really good look, but don't sit in them because they are not comfortable at all. <laughs> So let's go over here to the art. I really did like that piece of art there that was the coast of Italy. Very, very pretty. This set of um, artwork here would be perfect for a bedroom or a bathroom. Um, don't sleep on uh, Ross. Occasionally they do have some really nice pieces in here if you're just looking for you know, some like casual art, things like that. This is a great place to come and always look for those purple stickers. You see that one back there? That means that this is on a clearance sale. Um, it is $9.99. Um, great price for that size art piece. But yeah, definitely check out Ross for that. some very interesting looking faces they are mouth blown glass um they're out of china but they are really really interesting looking i actually like these a lot very very pretty and very inexpensive they would be nice for some live florals some full floors or empty doesn't matter 
Well, guys, we have shopped enough today. I hope you enjoy your tag along with me as we did some window shopping and just kind of checking out what the stores have in new for the spring 2024 season. If you enjoyed today's video, don't leave without giving me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button if you're not currently subscribed. I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube family. And to all my returning family members, thank you so, so much for shopping with me today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and I hope to see you all over here on my next one. Bye-bye.